So why are we watching this film? <laughs> and this is what they should teach the drivers now, not the twaddle that they're, they're, they're spitting out some awful drivers, the training system, the, the training whatever. So yes, this is a dual carriageway. Yeah, it's the A38, we're running south. Some of the slip roads are terrible. The road designs and the space you've got in an Arctic coming out of these roads are horrendous. So as you go over this hump by the, you see there's a canal there. So as you go over the canal bridge, my eyes are watching. See, now can you see above on the horizon? Watch above there on the horizon. So let's go forward a bit. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Now that's a bridge. And I know the shape of the junction. And if anybody crosses, I know exactly where they're going. So uh, can you see? Now have a look at that. See this little square? It's a short one. The, the camera doesn't really show it well, but this is a truck there. And this is a 20 foot container. So he is running the same as configuration I'm running. He's pulling a 20 foot container out of him. So because I know this road like the back of my hand, I'm always looking ahead. I know he's going to come out on me. So I make my plan. I make my, you know, um, so I come over, when I come over the bridge, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. And the time it takes me to come down here is the same time it'll take him to come to this junction. It's not a very kind junction. Forget him because he won't make it because he's got a big bend to go. Here he is. Look, there's the 20 foot container. And I've given him plenty of space to come out because he's, that slip road's not very nice, especially the speed of this dual carriageway. So I will look for him way ahead. I knew if he was going over here, he was going to be coming out of that junction. So uh, I came down here twice this day and uh, it, I'll just make another film to show you that um, it works every time when you go over that little bridge. So we're here again now, look. Now here comes a bit of a bridge here and as you cross over look you see um, there's the canal can you see the canal there the sun's right in the right we can't see a hell of a lot but again I'm looking ahead of myself I'm looking on this bridge I'm looking to see if something is going to come and uh, meet me at the junction coming out he's going in he's not we're not bothered about him going in but keep watching, keep watching. There we are. See, there's a truck. You see, there's a truck going across the top. So we're fairly well down, but I'm still expecting him. I'm driving uh, in a manner that I'm expecting him to come out. Um, he about when I get there, he will be about there. So. I'm getting ready, I'm watching him in mirrors, making a plan, what I want to do, keeping out behind me whether I can pull out or not, or, so let's give him a nice space, wait for him, he's going the other way, and we just see him, we just, he's a bit behind us, there we are, can you see, that's the one we saw come over that bridge, so as it happens we were well ahead of him, so we won't be in his way. But there he is, you see. <laughs> so that's just a bit of an insight. And there's the bridge they come over. They got over and come out of this junction. And they haven't got a lot of space. There isn't a lot of space. Next to the speed that this road, excuse me, is doing, and this, you're trying to come out of a slip road, you don't even get a run at it because it curls all the way around. So you're always, that's my favourite bit of road and I'm always looking at the horizon, watching them go across the bridge so that you can uh, either give them the space or put your foot down and pass them or at least uh, know what's behind you if you're going to change lanes to get out of his way to give him a chance. Mm. So, this, so this is what I was on about. Look at these three uh, pallet things, pallet boxes are they called? Full, absolutely full of um, of books of all sorts of interest. How do you? Ha Obviously, they've got to go because you'll get buried in them. Obviously, they've got to uh, they've got to go for recycling. So they do do some good, but how many Buckingham books are in there? 
how many tool books are in there? I actually went out, so I went and I, I saw this red one and I was sort of convinced in my head that was a Buck and Hickman book, but no, it wasn't a Buck and Hickman book. And, you know, do, do you know there's something completely out of your control that you'd like to do, but the reality of the thing is you've got to let them go, haven't you? The reality is you've got to let them go. And how many books are, are disappearing? everywhere this is just one place in one town every town has got a similar sort of setup or every city has got every similar sort of setup oh just i was i was virtually in tears watching these books go away <laughs> so i had to back my arse in there so, to get there in there so uh they they rang the the, the guy that can't I had to go from here to a waybridge and then from the waybridge back here and then back to the waybridge. So look, it's time to block the road. Um, I got in, you know you get good days and you get bad days, don't you? You get good days and you can get in in one or two shunts and you can get bad days and it takes you 10 shunts. So there's a little car behind me I've got to just keep an eye on. It's not in any dangerous place or everything, but just got to be aware of it. So put my back in, just curl the, the back and just come on in. Come on in, get it in there, that's it. I just wanted to sort of straighten up a little bit. Uh, I'll do one shunt forward, I think. Yeah, you might just see the car that... I just had to be aware of, you know, it was no big deal. I was coming, just pull forward a bit, straighten myself up a touch. Yeah. And um, I just push my way back in now then. And here we are. Can we see the car that I just had to be aware of? It wasn't a problem. But just make sure it wasn't a problem, you know. And there's a bloke there, of course, helping me and stopping the traffic. Fantastic. In in two shunts. Ooh, lovely, <laughs> jubbly. <laughs> yeah. So that was a nice, easy reverse, that was. Hmm. So this is one of the this is the little we'll have this as a little story so i had the address uh and all it said was burton road i think it was so fine no problem i know it's along here somewhere it's um i'm not really uh the postcode wasn't spot on so i'm looking at the signs and trying not to hold up the traffic too much is it that one no is it this one no is it that one and the sat nav's getting um you know closer and closer it's going to be it's going to be one of these in a minute uh and i'm going down the this road you know so do you know these one of these long roads um a bit like the a55 watling street it extends from hollyhead to london <laughs> so anyway i'm coming down here obviously i'm in an arctic so you know i'm big and slow and ugly and the, the, the sat-nav says it's here. The sat-nav says it's just off this island. And I'm going, mm, just off the island? There's nothing there. That's a football ground place. A Pirelli football. And so it's not there. Mm, where might it be? Where might it be? So anyway, it's around here somewhere. I wonder if it's in there. That, that had a different name. That wasn't where I was looking for. So... Hmm, I know it's round here somewhere and it's not easy to see and I don't really know what I'm looking for. It just said Star Foundation. Well, I was convinced something foundation was to do with the football. I didn't sort of realise what, what, what sort of place it was. So I'm coming up here, I'm looking over there and I'm not, not trying not to hold up the traffic too much. So I see a bit of a lay-by. I've already seen it coming the other way. I think I'll put my arse in here and um, have a closer look at it. So I put myself in here uh, so that I can take my phone out. Google Earth is a fantastic, Google is fantastic and Google Earth. So 
I'll stop here now and I'll put the name of the firm in and I'll see if they can get me a, a closer look at it. Hmm. So let's hang on for a minute. So here I am. Uh, it's the other side of the roundabout. I've checked on, uh, <coughs> I've checked it. It's beyond the roundabout behind me. So um, the only option really you've really got really is to go to the end of the road, find a roundabout. Well, I knew there was a roundabout just up here, so I wasn't gonna cause havoc turning around in a junction. Just up here, there's a roundabout. So let's, um, it's just up here. Just, it's not very far away. Um, a little further. See, you could, you could try and cross the road back in, cause havoc, because I know there's a roundabout just up here. Here comes the sign for it. I, um, I decided, and this is where tick tock tick tock and this is where it burns fuel you're burning time and fuel aren't you always trying to find these places you've not been to it's not as easy as a car you know so uh, anyway i come here and i um i spin it round i go you know uh, thank you very much i use this roundabout always when you're doing a u-turn you've got to expect them not to expect you you know you got to get ready for them to think you're going straight on, even though you've got your indicator on. So come on, let's go down the end of this road now then. Let's back to that other roundabout. We're still going down it. Uh, no, there we are. Let's run this forward a smidge. Let's get on to the roundabout. Uh, here's the roundabout that we turned around on before. Where I want is the other end of this road. This uh, Burton Road, so... Um, Let's just um, slide in here. Yeah, we are. So I'm going now and I, I know what I'm looking for now. So let's go, carry on down the road. Um, I know it's on my side of the road. So uh, we're going nice and slowly. Again, I've not been here before. I don't know where it is exactly. I don't know what I'm looking for. A big place, a small place. By now, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder what sort of place this is. Is it a small little place or is it a big place? So I'm not going very quickly and I'm watching and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm watching. And I'm sort of trying to watch everything, but without coming to a stop and holding up the traffic. But I can see behind me, there's quite a few of traffic. So, hmm. Let's push on. Yeah, let's not stop here. Let's let's push on a little bit. I, I thought it was in this. This is a whole mess of little and little industrial estates. Was it in there? Do you think possibly? And I'm thinking, nah, they've never ordered an Arctic in there, have they? Oh no, come on then. Let's. Uh, okay. And I'm looking at these names here. I'm checking all them out on these businesses here, each and every one. At the same time, watching the road, watching everybody else. And there's houses on this side. Is it? Is it the Star Foundation? I was thinking, is it a house? Is it, you know, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. Uh, but I'm watching, scanning all the names. I'm watching everything. Here we are. We go a little bit further, I think. Hmm. So I was, I did think about jumping into this garage and asking the person in the garage, but I blocked both entrances in and out and I thought, no, that wasn't a safe place to stop. And by now there's quite a queue behind me. So I'm still looking, I'm scanning. Is it a business? Is it in a house? Is it something else? What the, where am I going and what am I looking for? And then I think possibly now I twig on, I, I'm looking and scanning ahead. Um, I'm thinking, where the hell is this place? So, and again, I'm blocking the whole road because it's quite a, as you can see, it's a busy old spot, isn't it? Yeah. So, come on, Reggie. What did I do? What was I doing? No, I thought I'd better move. And here we are. I found it. This is what I want here. But of course, look, I'm at the wrong side of the road to go and um, back myself in. And I know there's a roundabout down there. So anyway, at least I go and see them, go and where to go. So what I do here now is I uh, grab the keys 
uh, jump out the truck, get my piece of paper, make sure, you know, I always take my paper with me, my notes. So I, I say, look, is this the right place? And I show them the address and the right name. So here they are, look. There's my bit of, oh no, have I got a bit of paper? I don't know what I've got, but anyway, I go off and find out. Anyway, I find out this is the right place. No problem, no problemo. Here I am coming back. The young fella tells me, um, right, Reggie, you need to weigh first because they want to know what the weight of the stuff they're putting in. So I, they know, need to know my weight on a weigh bridge, don't they? So it's not very far, it's just up behind me again, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. all right, okay, okay, no problem, there's nothing we can't deal with, if you want me to go and weigh on a weigh bridge, I'll go and weigh on a weigh bridge, so at least I know where it is, and remember, I've got to do this again, because I'm not going to back in blindside from this side, so I go past the place, and I go down the road, and, uh, we know there's a roundabout up here, which we're going to use. It's not very far away. Um, it's not very, not very far away at all. But um, the easiest and the least hassle way, um, rather than get your nose in somewhere, try and spin around or whatever. We knew this roundabout was here. So um, that was quite a, a useful, um, a useful, it's handy having roundabouts either end of a roundabout of, a, of an industrial area because as you're searching you can just go and you can um, make your way around the roundabout so here we are and remember you're being tracked you're being watched so if them in the office think uh, oh has he got there yet and they happen to look at your tracker so I've gone up I've come down I've got p turned round I went to the roundabout, turned around, came there, was wrong side of the road. Now I've come back down here and now I'm going back up here now, aren't I? So ordinarily this would be going to get to back in on my right side. So I'm back in, but in this case, I'm going off to the way bridge, aren't I? So come on, let's cut this and let's get to the way bridge. Remember this place, don't you? We went, that's that roundabout up ahead of us. So. Where are we going to load? It wasn't far. Was it a mile? I don't know. So now I've come here and I'm going along here and it's an arrangement sort of situation. So th that um, Star Foundation had a, an arrangement with these that they could, at best, they must pay them a, a fee each time or a fee every year or whatever arrangement they've got, but we're allowed to go. But the the young fella that showed me where this was, he says, come on, I'll, I'll show you. So he jumps in the cab. So I drop the young fella off here. He says, don't go in straight away. Let me just go on, okay it, as you might say. So my, uh, my passenger, my passenger jumps out and goes to see the man in the, in the little office, you know, and then I get the okay to go and, um, go on the way bridge so I've come through the gate onto uh, I believe this is Pe Pe um, Pirelli this is Pirelli's one of their factories you know so I'm spinning around now and I'm going on the way bridge so that I can um, so it's called a tear weight so we know what weight I am in the beginning you know so you know how much how heavy I am I'm guessing 15, 16 tons, something like that. There's two, two, two tons with a box plus the motor, but it depends how much fuel I'm carrying, uh, weight of trailer, um, what sort of wheels have I got? Have I got alloy wheels, steel wheels? Your weight can change with whatever trailer you've got on. So let's go here and let's get weighed. Okay, so uh, let's um, we'll get weighed there. Look. The machine then I come and here's my uh, my little man so I pick my little man up and uh, so we head back to the shop now we're on our way back to where we're meant to be and let's go down the road we're getting there do you remember this now don't you but I can't just go straight there because I want to back in tonight so now I'm back to the roundabout 
uh, at the other end of the bottom of the road and I'm coming round again. Now the, 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 the office doesn't know this situation at all. So it's all they can do, all they can see is my tracker, my, uh, the line on my um, tracker going up and down, up and down, up and down. And they're probably thinking, what's this idiot doing? We, we pay him to find these places and look at him. He's just going up and down the road, not looking, not asking, not nothing. <laughs> so how easy is them? Is it for them in the office to think, you know, what's this idiot doing? Uh, so anyway, here we are now. Let's uh, let's run forward slightly. Let's let's run ourselves forward, and um, and here we are. We're waiting. We've come here. We've rang them. They've come out to clear the gate. And here we are. Look, yeah. And here we are, stopping the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way it is that's the way it is you know sometimes it's what you've got to do is way off first hmm. but obviously the office didn't know so they didn't say reggie you've got to go to such and such a place to way off first or else otherwise i would have gone to the pirelli if they'd give me that address weighed off and come straight here but that wasn't the the case hmm. so uh i had a phone call are you lost, Reggie? What the hell are you doing, Reggie? Well, you know, I had to go to the Waybridge. Well, nobody told us you had to go to the Waybridge. Ah, oh, and you know, there's a trucker's life for you. But I do, I do like being tracked. I haven't got a problem at all being tracked, because sometimes it can, it's useful, you know. So here's a bit of a. Um, so he says to me, uh, "Don't get it to the Waybridge before I get there," because. He, the boss man was uh, he brought the paperwork with him so he was going to fill in the paperwork and then let me escape from there save going back to the Waybridge and then back to the to the loading destination so I decided I, I could see him he'd move what he'd done when I, the last I saw him coming out he was moving a van so I thought he was going to come in the van so I thought to myself right what I'll do is I'll um, I'll tuck myself in the corner here out the way and I'll, um, I'll wait for him to go past me. And when I see a staff foundation van goes past me, um, then I can follow him. It'd be great, no problem. Mm. So I'm sitting here waiting and watching, waiting and watching, and no, no bleeding van went past me. <laughs> so I'll explain that now. So I, um, I'd been there, ooh, you know, five or 10 minutes and I didn't see them pass me. And, thought they've got to be there by now they, they wouldn't have been this late delayed so i'll take a chance and go up there and if i'm ahead of them i'm ahead of them if i'm not i'm not but anyway what had happened they'd gone past me in a car and i didn't realize they were in the car so they were sitting up here waiting for me and i was down there in that bit of a pull-in waiting for them <laughs> so i'm here now and i'm thinking oh i can't see somebody and then all of a sudden i see somebody in an orange jacket on the end and I think, oh yeah, that's my man. How the hell did he get there? How did he get there ahead of me? Well, look, they came in this um, this grey car that was here. So they passed me. I didn't see them or I thought they were in one of their vans. And this is the boss man with the paperwork. And um, there's your other bloke there waiting to weigh me in so I can go round. And get weighed again he says where the hell have you been i says well i was waiting for you and he says well we were waiting for you <laughs> but anyway as it happened no problem the boss man filled the paperwork in gave me what bits of paper i needed and then he, he let me carry on my way he was very helpful you otherwise most of the excuse me most of the places i would have had to have gone back to where I'd loaded to an office in there and done it sort of thing. But these uh, these people were very, very helpful. It was brilliant. Mm, yeah. So, a trucker's mess about. Shall we call that a trucker's mess about, shall we? So here's another one. Um, we're coming to the end of this uh, road. 
all the signs have told us there's a roundabout ahead there's a set of traffic lights ahead um so i'm a nice big space you know you if they're on green they're moving through if they're on red they'll stop nice lovely big space cool just calm down from the 56 and here comes this loony carrying steel they wonder why they lose their load look so first of all he's gone in there so if the lights are red he's got to stand on the brakes and i've got to stand on the brakes behind him but he's aware of me behind him he buggers often he goes through the red lights because he doesn't want me to be having to brake hard behind him bad boy bad boy so here comes a reggie grumble here comes a cruise can oh, now here comes a cruise control idiot i'll leave this down here so we can see the speed look i'm doing 54 55 56 i'm following the guy in front keeping a good space just going down the road and these are cruise control he's got himself on cruise control he's got no consideration it's 10 o'clock in the morning people want to get from a to b just stay on the inside lane do about 55 56 you know it's, we're, we're not going slow we're going at the speed you're supposed to be going 56 and look at him hanging out there it's hanging out there uh, because he's on cruise control he keeps it on cruise control i don't know whether it's the office giving him aggravation best mileage per gallon or some sort of bonus or whatever but these, there's more and more of these idiots getting through. And why are these people training them? Or why are these people thinking that that's right? So I've let him in now. I've eased off. I've let him in. I'm going to be coming off shortly. But he's right up the arse of that other one. And out he goes again. Look, he's let two past him. And off he goes. He's on cruise control. And look, he's going to hold all this traffic back again. And we haven't slowed down. We're doing 54, 55, 56, then around. And if you only knew that I was coming off. So holding all them people back. Obviously, he didn't know I was going to come off at the junction, but I did. Makes him look a right idiot, doesn't it? <laughs> Makes him look a right cruise control idiot. And there's way too many of them. I don't like cruise control. There's too many cruise control idiots out there on the road.